Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher and today I'm going to be demonstrating the stem stitch. This is one of those basic embroidery stitches. I remember doing it when I was a little kid. I didn't think much of it, honestly. I sort of felt like it was one of those lowly throwaway stitches that didn't hold a lot of promise. The more I've played with different threads and different thread weights, the more I've become appreciative of stitches like the stem stitch, which really can be very interesting and used in different ways with different threads to increase its interest. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've been doing playing around with the stem stitch, and hopefully you'll find that interesting as well. Don't forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and the little bell that pops up for email notifications. I love hearing from you. Leave me comments in the comments section and grab something to stitch with and let's play around with the stem stitch together. I'm using a House of Embroidery 5 weight. This is 75C with an 18 chenille needle. This is a linen and it's a hand dyed so it's got lots of variations in it and I wanted to just show an example of how you might employ a stitch like the stem stitch which is not that exciting of a stitch traditionally. I mean it serves its purpose but you certainly don't feel a level of excitement about it that you might like a bouillon knot or something. So if I follow some of these little striations the color of this is actually more of a more of an olive color than it is what it's showing. It's showing up as kind of gray but that's okay. So I'm gonna do a stem stitch just kind of following along some of these variations in the fabric and I can make them small quite close together or I can make them a bit longer. The whole idea of a stem stitch is that you're creating this kind of line so it's similar to a back stitch in that you're going forward and then coming back you're just coming back a little way so you get a kind of cable-y look. But if you want to, you can play around with this by making it much longer. You can keep these legs so they kind of splay out almost. If you start doing a curve, for instance, you're going to get kind of a little forked almost looking. You can come back around. You can go in all kinds of different directions. And then you can kind of branch off. You don't have to keep going. You can just let it go somewhere else. you want, you can go really small. So there it is. I can keep going with this. I could use a lighter weight. This is the five weight. I could go down to an eight weight, 12 weight, and that's gonna change how this looks. I can just kind of go off here, make a little fork if I want. I can come back up here, start branch off. I 
again, I can branch off and now I can follow this line if I want. So this is just my first run through and there I have my stem stitch kind of going off. Now I can come in and I can do something else in here. I can follow the color variations. It's within this linen. I'm now using a silken pearl. This is camouflage. So it doesn't, it, you can be as um, kind of organic with it as you want, or you can be very exacting with it. I'm being much more kind of organic. I'm kind of going with the flow. I'm not really thinking too much about uniform stitch length. I'm thinking more about the look of the variation in the hand dyed and how this is kind of emphasizing it. I'm gonna go off now here. So I have a little kind of branch and now I'll start a new thing over here. Just kind of making it up as I go. Now I think I'll go off here. You know, I'm sort of following it. I'm sort of not. I'm kind of doing my own thing. I'm gonna go off here and I'll come back here. And I'm gonna come down here now. And I think I'll make a big fork there. Maybe I start another branch here. What I'm trying to do here is use the stem stitch as a way to just emphasize parts of the fabric that are shaded or that have different tones. I'm just adding another layer to what is already exists in within the fabric. So there's the stem stitch using a number five weight House of Embroidery Pearl Cotton. This is the Silken Pearl from Thread Gatherer Camouflage. And I can come in with another color too. I've just ended my thread by knotting it. Now, I don't have any layering to hide this under, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave this back and forth through my stitches, and that's going to be it. And I'm just going to clip this. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, I found something I like. This is Van Gogh, it's the soft cotton. I'm gonna do a little stem here, just so you can see what it looks like in this thread. It's a much heavier weight thread. See, I'm thinking I'm gonna go here and then maybe I'll come back around. Now what's happening is my pink is starting to fight a little with this color. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this camera is pulling a lot of the color out of this uh, fabric, so it's looking really gray through the lens, but it's actually quite different in real life. So let me just do this, and I'm hoping that when I have a little pink in this painter's thread that's about to show up, here it comes, a little bit of pink. There it is. 
And I'm going to just fork it out there. And, all right, so now what I might do is I might come in with another thread. I could do start doing some clusters of things. So maybe I do a cluster of French knots here. I could do some seed stitches here. I could do something that fans out in a sort of circle shape in a satin stitch. I could do some clusters of bouillon knots. I can do a whole lot of things in here. And, but I've started with my stem as just a way to just begin something. And I don't really worry about it too much, you know? I mean, it doesn't look like much right now. But when I add everything else that I'm thinking, it's going to start to, depending on the colors I choose, it's going to start to really make this look like something. I particularly like this painter, so I might come back and get some more painters in here. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I came in with my painter's thread and I did some seed stitches. And then I did a little cluster of French knots, two wrap French knots here and here. Then I came in with my Oriental Linen Meadowgrass and I did some bouillon knots and then a little French knots, a couple French knots coming down. And then I did a variation on the seed stitch, which is this sort of seed loop that I kind of came up with. Then I thought, well, I could thread this. So I threaded the stem stitch and then I thought, well, I'll double thread it. So I went back and threaded it again. But I just wanted you to see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I'm not, I have no plan. I'm just going along with the threads and looking at it as I go and then just adding whatever seems interesting to me. I might come in with another soft cotton. I don't know. Maybe I'll put some little things in here. I may not. I don't know where I'm going to go with this. Um, I may, it's a big piece, so let me pull back so you can see. And I think it's about almost 15 inches square. Big, big patches of dark, and this is very cool. I'm going to see where I go with it, I don't know, but this is a fun start and um, I like what's happening here. Almost everyone who's done hand stitching has certainly heard of the stem stitch if you haven't done it. And again, it's not a stitch that brings up a lot of excitement typically, but I think when you start playing with it and seeing how it can be used in conjunction with other things, it can be really, really interesting. And I'm just, I'm really loving this. So thanks for so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and maybe it made you think of the stem stitch in a different way. Maybe you'll try it in a different way. Experiment with it, see where it takes you. Don't forget to hit that like button, click on the subscribe button, little bell that pops up for email notifications and leave me comments. Tell me what you think of the stem stitch. What have you done with it? Have you used it before? Is it one of those stitches that you know about and you just kind of say, oh, you know, not that? Let me know. Until next time. Here's to exploring and stitching together.